Today, we're talking about cordless drills and drivers. Welcome back to LiftNest. So if you've seen our episode on screwdrivers, you know that there's a very common couple of screwdrivers out there. There's the Phillips and there's the flathead, and you'll find these everywhere. Now, if you're gonna be doing this all day, or if you've got a lot of screws to do, or if you've got a big project coming up, I would strongly suggest a cordless driver. So what this is gonna do is basically take that hand motion that you're gonna need to deal with and make it fast and efficient. So with one of these, you're gonna get the job done much faster, much cleaner, and with a lot more time to yourself. There's a lot of different cordless drivers out there. There's different battery voltages. There's 18 volts, 12 volts, eight volts, I do a lot of this, so I like the bigger batteries, more power, more torque, and they last a lot longer. If you're just doing a few things around the house, you can get away with an eight volt or a 12 volt, don't worry about it. But what these have, the newer drivers will have a quick release system built in. And what it is, is it's basically a standardized bit that goes right into the driver, and then there's a bearing in there that will lock it into place. And when you need to remove the bit, all you gotta do is pull the sleeve back and the bit releases itself. Now with these new cordless drivers, there's actually drill bits that are made to fit right into these quick release chucks. Slides right in, set your drill, and then you can release it right away. Three quick and easy things to know about this driver. There's always a trigger. It's just like a pistol or a gun. And there's a switch that will go forward or backward and depending what position that switch is in, when you press the trigger on the gun, it either goes forward or it goes backward. Pretty simple, right? Now, if we take a look back, there are also cordless drills. These work on the same principle. They have the battery, which has different voltages depending on what your needs are. They have a trigger. They also have a forward and reverse. But a lot of drills you're going to see have two different speeds. So you have a fast speed and a slow speed. So if you're in the fast speed mode, you can spin the bit a little bit faster, or if you need a little more torque, or if you, if you wanna be a little bit more careful extracting a screw, you can set it to a slower speed. Now, most drills are gonna have a traditional chuck. And what this is, is it's basically a head that you spin backwards to release the bit, whether it's a drill bit or whether it's a driver, and once you set it in there, all you gotta do is spin the head to tighten the bit up, and you're ready to drill. Different drills have different settings. This particular driver has a hammer drill option built inside. So what this will do is it will take a masonry bit, and once you put this in, it's a little bit more of a specialty bit. And what it does is it drives into concrete, it drives into brick. Normal drill bits usually won't go into there without dulling themselves out right away. And what the hammer drill does is it sends a tapping motion to the drill bit, which basically pops it in and out of the concrete. And then that way, you get that, you get that kind of a motion out of it versus just a straight drive. And what that does is it will take that masonry bit and it hammers it into the wall. So it's a very solid bit. It's specially made for masonry and concrete and it will put a hole into a wall that you normally wouldn't get a hole in with a normal bit. The driver itself is a very standard quarter inch inset and different companies make multiple bits that fit right into there. So whether you're driving a screw, a flat head, a Phillips screw, an Allen key, a square drive, a Torx bit, you can basically buy any kind of bit to fit into this common driver. Now, if you've got a big job coming up, and you need to drill a hole that's maybe this big, and you're going into concrete, I would not suggest using a battery-operated drill. What I would suggest is using a corded drill that plugs right into the wall, and if you're doing a big job, you'll get an extra handle. And if you're wondering how to use this, stay tuned for a future episode when we talk about corded drills and drivers. Thanks for watching another episode of Lift Nest. We're here to help you. So if you have any questions or if you want to see us cover any topic that we haven't covered yet, just email us at contact at liftnest.com. 
And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. If not, just stay tuned, keep watching, and I'm sure we're gonna answer any questions you could possibly have.